Philosophy. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? Uh, I'm gonna explain you also mm -hmm. what's the difference between us and also the rest of the conventional vineyards because we work with organic agriculture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, vamos, what? let's go. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this place. Uh, well, uh, right now we are in the Casablanca Valley. Mm -hmm. Emiliana has different estates, okay, mm -hmm. located in different wine regions. The thing is simple, for each grape variety that we are growing, that we are producing, we look for the best conditions. So basically, the best soil, the best weather, the best terroir. So here in this estate, Emiliana has around 270 hectares devoted to the organic crop. It and actually is like in acres, 500 acres? In acre, it's like the double, because 500. Uh, 500 acres, acres. Yeah, more, more or less. Uh -huh. um, the 80% is for whites, so here we're growing mostly white. 80% of 80%. white? I didn't know that. I thought that you grew more like half and half. No, we, we also have uh, reds, uh -huh. but most of the of the gray varieties that we're growing here are white. Okay. Chardonnay and then Sauvignon Blanc. And we also have uh, another white, white varieties that are not the conventional. For uh -huh. example, we are also growing Viognier. Marsan and Roussan. And, and reds here in Casablanca, we just have Shiraz. Okay. Uh, our Shiraz is a beautiful Shiraz. Uh -huh. And Pinot Noir. Uh, the Casablanca in here. here. Yeah, okay. Pinot Noir. And the other varieties that Emiliana produces, uh, for example, the reds. Uh, uh, where well you can find it? Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, uh -huh. Carmener. And of we, course, we, they are not going to grow here. No, no, it's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. Exactly. So it, it's hard to... And the humidity also. Also, just, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's hard to get the level of sugar that you need to uh -huh. produce a good quality, for example, Cabernet Sauvignon uh -huh. or Carmener. So those uh, varieties, we grow them in different wine regions. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, we have another state in Maipo, uh -huh. that is in the metropolitan region, really, really close uh -huh. from Santiago. Santiago. And our main state is located in the Colchagua Valley. Oh, Colchagua. That is a beautiful valley. Lovely Colchagua. And our top reds are uh -huh. made with grapes from Colchagua, it's and like we're gonna a, we're gonna try the them in the is wine that taste. G, the G. G, that uh -huh. is our signature wine. And Koyam, that is uh, another of our top wines, that it was the first wine in South America in getting the certification as organic. Oh, wow. So we're gonna, in the so wine tasting, right. we're going to try those two wines. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Here. I know there is some stuff here that normally you don't find in any vineyard. And that is, of course, is fully for... Uh, organic vineyard. Exactly. So tell me what do you have here? Yeah, the thing is like uh, Emiliana, besides the organic certification, mm -hmm. we are also certified as a biodynamic vineyard. Okay. But this is uh, another kind of farming mm -hmm. that it is totally related with the organic agriculture, but it's the next level, okay? Uh, organic means that we don't use agrochemicals in any of our practices, okay? Mm -hmm. Biodynamic, it's further than that. In the biodynamic agriculture, we work with three principles. Mm -hmm. The first one, it's the biodiversity. So it's like an interrelationship between the mineral, the animal, and the vegetal kingdom. So that's the reason why we are working with the animals. We also have chickens around yeah, I that saw they are them free. All over. The chickens <laughs> they help us controlling some insects, you know, mm -hmm. and actually we have some uh, mobile hen houses. So we move the chickens around and they help us controlling uh, some unbenefit insects, you know, mm -hmm. the vine beetles, the mealybugs between other insects, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the first principle, the biodiversity. The second principle it's the biodynamic calendar. So mm -hmm. we work with a calendar that is related with the moon cycles, the constellations, that shows us when we have to do all the activities in the, in the agriculture, in the vineyards. And the third principle are the preparations. So that's the reason why we have uh, the samples of these different herbs. Chamomile, yeah, I can see there are many of those ones. The stinging nettles, you know. 
So these preparations, o sea, these herbs, we use them to make these preparations. Okay. Some of these preparations, we apply them into the compost and another ones as a spray in the vines. Mm -hmm. I can but see that. all together, they are like medicine for wow. the soil, for the Great vines, soil. for the vineyards, for this place in I general. Love so I love these animals, they uh -huh. are all alpacas. Uh -huh. They are from the, from the family of the camelids. Uh -huh. So they are relative, they, these are like the, the camels from South America. Actually, thank you for that because <laughs> I always thought the same. It has the, they have almost the same mouth. The same teeth. The same teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The alpacas are uh -huh. here for a reason because uh -huh. they are also workers. Uh -huh. Actually, we use the alpaca manure for, to make our compost. Yeah. No, no, manure actually is the excrement. Of, ah, the, the, of the animal, the poo, yeah, oh. the poo. The poo. Okay. So, uh, alpaca That's manure, an way it's, a, it's a nice way to say that. You can say but, that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to the toilet, I'm going to manure, you know, something like that. I don't know how you say that in English, actually. We use uh, alpaca manure because it's considered as the black gold. It's, okay. one of the, ah, yeah. it's, one, it's one of the best manures uh -huh. in terms of nutrients and excellent properties for the soil. Oh, okay. So That's that why manure, name. Uh, that manure, we mix it uh -huh. with different kind of vegetal residues. For example, uh -huh. uh, grape skin, the stems, leaves. So uh -huh. we reuse everything, we mix it, we ferment oh, okay. it, and then that, that is what we apply as a natural fertilizer that is in that the soil. kind of like the compost? It's our compost. Oh, it's your yeah. compost. Okay. So that's the reason why we have alpacas mm -hmm. here. And also because they are really cute. Uh, they and are. People, they are. tourists, they love them. Yeah. Uh, continue, continue, let's continue.